We are at the New York African Burial Ground. It is one of the first national monuments honoring enslaved and free Africans in this country and certainly in the city of New York. African Burial Ground in the city of New York was on my radar uh, late 1989, early 1990, when a coworker uh, for the city of New York brought to my attention an environmental impact statement. It was about this place that was going to be developed by the United States federal government uh, into an office building. My work in the city of New York was about building, but here now I was faced with a site um, that had personal, cultural, and historical meaning to me. And that launched me learning a lot politically, socially. The project ultimately set the bar for what community engagement really means, meaningful community engagement. It set the bar for, you know, who should be leading projects that have difficult histories tied to marginalized communities, who has a voice, who gets to tell the story. To see these mounds and to know that there are individuals buried in coffins here, handcrafted coffins, it, you don't have to explain it. It, it goes beyond that. And it's, it's a human experience. It goes beyond race and it goes beyond other cultures, everybody understands what this place is. What's incredible about this interpretive center and having this interpretive center here, first of all, it is the result of what the community, the larger New York community said it wanted. One of the biggest and most significant elements of the memorialization plan was in fact to make sure that the future generations understand the history, understand what happened at the site, what it took to realize this site, but also to understand what the history of New York was. In the United States of America, we preserve battlegrounds because we say that that's important in our American history. And in a similar context, for me, this is a battleground. This was a ground where revolutionary acts of remembrance took place. These are sacred sites with incredible dimension and significance. 2016, I joined a group to work on fighting for the preservation of an African burial ground on the island of St. Helena, located in the South Atlantic, between Africa and South America. It's unprotected right now, but it has upwards of 10,000 uh, formerly enslaved Africans who were buried there. Are you kidding me? This is huge. Yeah. This is massive. It helps us ground the story around the global story and the global fight to elevate uh, our history around the transatlantic slave trade and African, uh, the African experience, the African diasporic experience. So this is a place where visitors uh, at the Interpretive Center can leave a note and their reflections on what they've experienced here. This is probably the first note that I've ever left. Someone before me endured something, and I'm grateful. It's powerful to know that people took the time to write a message and to know that after the fight on by the community, the struggle to preserve this site, that it hasn't lost its meaning. It actually is doing what the community wanted it to do, which is to impact people, to inspire people, to build awareness, and to know that the story is being told, and that the people who write these messages, hopefully they'll go away and they'll inspire the same kind of work in their own communities. Um, because that's the only way that our story is going to continue to live.